Hi, my name is Cajun Syrett, and today we are describing the risks and responsibilities associated with using credit such as APR, grace period, late fees, finance charges, default rates, interest, and closing costs. Credit cards issued by a bank or financing company are the most common form of revolving credit. This often has costs only after a repayment deadline has passed. For example, many credit cards offer a grace period between the time of the credit purchase or charge and the time of payment, assuming your beginning balance is zero. If you pay before interest is applied, you are using someone else's money to make your purchases at no additional cost. In that case, you are using the credit simply as a cash management tool. Credit cards are effective as a cash management tool. They can be safer to use than cash, especially for purchasing pricier items. Payment for many items can be consolidated and made monthly, with the credit card statement providing a detailed record of purchases. If you carry more than one card, you might use them for different purposes. For example, you might use one card for personal purchases and another for work-related expenses. Credit cards also make it convenient to buy on impulse, which may cause problems. A credit card's interest rate is the price you pay for borrowing money. For credit cards, the interest rates are typically stated as a yearly rate. This is called the annual percentage rate, or APR. On most cards, you can avoid paying interest on purchases if you pay your balance in full each month by the due date. Problems arise if you go beyond using your card as a cash management tool and use it to extend credit or to finance your purchases past the payment deadline. At that point, interest rates begin to accrue. Typically, that interest is expensive, perhaps only a few percentage points per month, but compounds into a large APR. Credit card APRs today may start with 0% for introductory offers or range from 8.75% to more than 20%. These rates may be fixed or variable, but in any case, when you carry a balance from month to month, this high interest is added to what you owe. As an example, if your credit card charges an interest of 1.5% per month, that may not sound like much, but it is an annual percentage rate of 18%. 1.5% per month times 12 months per year. To put that in perspective, remember that your savings account is probably earning only around 1-3% to per year. Consumer credit thus is an expensive way to finance consumption. A finance charge is a fee charged for the use of credit or the extension of existing credit. It may be a flat fee or a percentage of borrowings, with percentage-based finance charges being the most common. A finance charge is often an aggregated cost, including the cost of carrying the debt itself, along with any related transaction fees, account maintenance fees, or late fees charged by the lender. Consumers tend to rely on their cards when they need things and lack the cash, and this can quickly lead to credit card debt. According to recent surveys, 41% of college students have a credit card, and of those, about 65% pay their bills in full every month. This is higher than the general adult population, and fewer than half of U.S. families carry credit card debt. Among the 35% of college students with credit cards who do not pay their balances in full every month, the average balance is $452.